What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing with you one of them recipes that is so spectacular, so cheesy, so much flavor, so much of it, legit, there's gonna be so much of it, it's gonna blow your mind. I thought long and hard before sharing this recipe. Is this an heirloom recipe, one that I'm gonna pass down to future generations of Remington? Or do I just share it with you guys and let the cat out of the bag? We're letting that cat all the way out of the bag. Today, we're doing it big. And if you're trying to lose weight, this might not be the recipe for you. But if you're on that winter bulk and you're entertaining family and friends or you're by yourself and you just want to feel like a piece of sh <laughs> after eating these then keep watching because we got something good here i promise so if you guys are ready to get this epic video underway then as always man i'm here to cook for you let's do it yeah Good thing I had those final boss athletics joggers on. I sprang back up like a cat. <sighs> All right, let's get started. And I know everybody has one of these hidden up in their secret stash. Got a big bag of tortillas. You're, you're gonna need tortillas for this. I hate to break it to you if that thumbnail didn't give it away. You're gonna need tortillas. Preferably the biggest bag you can get. This guy is 17 ounces. This is a pound of tortillas. Step one, acquire tortillas. Step two, I'm just gonna show you. We're gonna need something to bake these nachos in. So I'm gonna use a baking dish here. You can use a sheet pan, whatever you want, but I like these deeper boys because you get more volume, you can feed more people, and you can add layers to your nachos. There ain't nothing better than layers. Unless we're talking a dragon's layer filled with skeletons and charred suits of armor. I don't think I'd like that too much, but these layers, I'm all in. Step one, essential step one. Make sure you grease this bad boy with some nonstick spray. Or else you're gonna have cheese and all sorts of goodness stuck to this pan, and then you're gonna be doing a lot of scrubbing later. But if you do this, you're gonna be in good spot. Boom. Now we're gonna take our tortillas here and we're gonna make base layer one. And we got a lot of tortillas here, so don't be shy, man. We got a lot of people to feed. Okay, is that looking good? Your first layer of tortillas should look something like this. With the tortillas down, it is time to establish a cheese base, <laughs> a cheese layer. The biggest mistake I see people make with nachos is they wanna use shredded cheese in every layer. And I mean, shredded cheese is great. You guys know I'm a big fan, especially fat free, but get out of here. You don't wanna do that for this layer because when we bake these, right? If you use shredded cheese on top and in a middle layer, that middle layer isn't gonna melt. The top layer will, middle layer won't, and you're gonna get down into just like cheese pieces like, you, like it didn't cook at all. We don't want that. We you want it to be a surprise. You want to hit layer one and have melty, creamy goodness, and then when you get to layer two, it's still melty and it's still creamy. So what we're gonna do is cheese layer one is gonna be a queso layer, man. Use whatever queso you want. I'm using yellow queso. Is that orange? Is that yellow or orange? Comment below. I'm telling you, this this is incredible. Me and Ank have spent so many nights tag teaming a big old tray of nachos, a ripping, a tearing. We have pending criminal charges, but that's besides the point. I do the hard work, the research, so you guys don't have to. So let's get to this layer, man. Obviously, you can tweak this recipe however you want, but me, I like cheese, man. So I'm gonna use the entire jar of queso here. Spread her around. Ooh Telling you, man, you don't know what you're getting into here. If you didn't know before, you gonna learn today. And boom. And with cheese layer one established, we're gonna add another layer of tortillas. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. And we're all in agreement. We want a big old tray of nachos, right? Glad we're all on the same page. So I'm gonna try to conceal that first cheese layer as much as I can and stack this baby up high. And here we go, man. This thing is topped up to the brim. Perfect. And then for the top cheese layer, we're gonna be using one bag of shredded fat-free mozzarella and one bag of shredded fat-free cheddar. Different brands because Walmart does not make fat-free cheddar. They need to because this is like three times the cost of this, but hey, I ain't complaining because these nachos are fire. If you ain't worried about your diet, you can use full fat cheese. It's gonna make this a lot better, but fat-free, man, I mean, it's already not a very good for you recipe, so we're trying to put our best foot forward here, get that protein in, but do what you want, man. Life's your oyster. Get after it. And just to make sure I have even coloring on the top so it looks pretty for y'all, I'm gonna mix these in a bowl real quick. That way they go together. Boom. Got a pound of cheese here, folks. Just gonna go in and mix them up. I'm telling you, the presentation of your dish, that's just as important as how good it tastes, man. If it doesn't look good, no one's gonna wanna taste it. And there we go, it looks good to me. Now we're gonna take that cheese and just add her right here on top. The cheesier, the better, man. You know four words I've never heard in my life? That's too much cheese and perfect. And I am also going to cut up some fresh jalapenos because, I mean, I love jalapenos. If you don't like them, don't put them on. But if you do, you won't regret it. Get rid of the end caps. You come pretty good with this knife, huh? I wanna 
so you do this with scissors. Yo, word of advice I learned the hard way. If you are cutting peppers and you get it on your hands, wash them before you pee. That's all I'm gonna say. You've been warned. And there we go, we got ourselves a pile of fresh jalapenos. Do they grow these on the Jalapagos Islands? All right, terrible joke, terrible joke, cut it. Then we'll go in and strategically place our Hallies right on top. I don't know about you guys, but a cheesy nacho with a jalapeno like that, like baseball nachos, man, those are the best types of nachos. Okay, and we have a decent amount on top here. With my extras, I'm just gonna kinda put them down in the sides here. We'll kinda, you know, tuck them away for presentation purposes, but they'll be there if you want them. He's gotta dig for them. And boom. So now we got this big plate of nachos and the only thing we're missing is some barbecue chicken. Now, you can cook your own chicken at home, you can slow roast it, you can make it pulled, you can season it, you can do all that, or you can do what I'm about to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go get a bird. We have secured the bird. I'm telling you, this is not only gonna make this taste so good, but it's gonna save us a ton of time too. We don't gotta cook. Oh, look at the bird. This is an original rotisserie chicken. You've never had one of these before? Incredible, just incredible. Especially that skin. If I'm being honest, I've soloed a whole bird before. Not one of my proudest moments. And how do you explain to the neighbors that you're burying a carcass in your backyard? So let's get to shredding some chicken. So when it comes to shredding a bird, what I like to do, I have a little bowl here. I'm gonna weigh it out as I'm shredding it and putting it in the bowl. So we'll just move that out so you can get a better look here. How do you like that close up on the bird? So this is a whole chicken, man. We got wings. That one's falling apart. We got legs. You can probably rip that guy. Hey, man. Hold up, taste test. Mmm, awesome, good bird. First, I de-leg it and de-wing it, or I should say, a prize for being the one shredding it. I eat them. And what we're left here is the breast, front and center. Big, luscious, juicy meat right here. So this skin is gonna add a lot of calories, and you can include it or not, but for the sake of this, we'll just get this skin off of here. Ooh, there we go. Peel you off. Oh man, how, how do you not just eat that? And now we're left with a bare breast. The bird's going topless. And all I'm gonna do is go in and see how, boom, look at that. Look how easy that is to just shred that, right? Look, boom, shredded chicken. You want to do this while these are hot. If you get it, do it within the first hour or two because if not, this is going to be way harder. So I'm just going to go in and shred this thing up. See, look at that. Look how tender and juicy that is, man. This is the chicken you want on your nachos. All said and done, we ended up with about a pound of chicken right here. Shredded and perfect for what we're trying to do. And we have one leftover bird carcass. If you have any last words you want to say before this guy hits the trash can, say them now. Or forever hold your peace. Oh, it's like that then. All right. Now that we got our chicken, we need to season it. And we're going to make it barbecue, man. And you, you know who I'm tag teaming in for this? The only man I trust in this cruel, cruel world. Whoop. We are tagging in my man, G Hughes. Sugar-free barbecue sauce. If you use whole sugar barbecue sauce, I mean you can. But you're gonna get a lot of unnecessary sugar in an already less than ideal health-wise dish. So this way, my man G's gonna keep us in check. Cause you know what they say down south, everything's better when G's on top. Mm. So I'm gonna start with about half of this bottle in here and we're gonna see how that does us. I'm gonna go in and mix it all up. Now this part's a little messy, but it's about as hard as this recipe gets, man. I'm telling you, anybody can do this. Having friends over, date night you can make, well, I don't know if this is real Really a recipe for ladies, but it's definitely a recipe for a woman. All right, so we have a nice coating of sauce on here, but I, I think we need more sauce. I'm just gonna add a little bit more in there. Bingo, we're gonna sauce it up. All right, that might've been too much sauce, if there is such a thing. And boom, there's our barbecue chicken. G never disappoints when he's on top. Now we just take the chicken and spread it across the top of our nachos. Try to make it kind of pretty, you know? Try to kind of get it between these Hallies. I want that color pop. But y'all know this is gonna be good, right? And our nachos are covered and they're ready to go in the oven. Let's go. These are gonna go in the oven at about 400 degrees for roughly 10 minutes, but keep in mind, your times can change. So you just kind of watch it. See if the cheese melts, all that good stuff, you know. How you'd want to eat them, man. Throw them in. That is a plate of nachos. Set a timer for 10 minutes. And when we come back, guys, it's time. It's time to pull them out. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Get a load of these, man. This smells so good. Can we get a cheese pull here? Oh, my goodness. Woo, baby. All right, guys, we can't fool around with this. We got, we got to get right in here. Let's go. All right, man, enough playing games. We're going to get into this, and we're going to get into it nice and nasty. Roll these sleeves up a little bit. Can't go messing up the Timberland Champion collab outfit. Grab this cheesy guy. Oh, man, this is one we pulled earlier. Look at that thing, man. We got a little jalapeno, a little chicken, cheese blend. Without further ado, Let's get it done. Three, two, one, let go. Mm. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got us one. And that chicken just turned out completely fantastic. Rotisserie birds all day, man. That's why in high school they call me the bird man. Mm. 
Wow, just a nice one in here. Oh baby, this is stupid good. Mm. <sighs> First thing you need to do after watching this video is make this yourself. Now, if you're not worried about the health, if it's a holiday, man, use regular cheese, and I'm telling you, because regular cheese will melt a little better, but I mean, this is still, this is still fire. You will absolutely love it, man. Mm -hmm. That chicken though, that chicken. That bird didn't do us wrong. Those jalapenos are hot. Let me get a refreshment. Woo! If you're gonna eat nachos, man, you may as well do it and make sure you're getting your greens in too. I know we got some greens on here, but we want to be safe. Scoop of final boss greens in a Gatorade Zero with half a scoop of branched chain amino acids. You're gonna knock away that terrible hay taste of greens. And you're gonna have yourself a nice little drink here that you're actually gonna like drinking. Ah, so good. The perfect thing to wet the palate between bites of nacho. Am I right, boys? Right, boys? Get another king cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. She's a dangling, but she's a nice one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. And by the way, the greens are sold out on our website, finalbossformance.com. At least at the time of this video, be amazed. So if you want them, you gotta go to Amazon because they are sold out, man. We've been having a good year. What can I say? It's been a good year. <laughs> the best part about a recipe like this is like, you can really do it however you want to do it, man. You, what kind of cheese you want to use? You pick. What kind of veggies you want? You pick. What kind of meat you want, man? I actually did this with, uh, Walmart has like Jack Daniels, like pre-made pulled pork with barbecue sauce already on it. Terrible for you, but amazing in nachos, right? You didn't have to shred nothing. It was just ready to go. So you can put your own spin on these nachos, man. That's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to comment below. What's a crazy way to do nachos you might not think of, right? I mean, barbecue pulled chicken. I, I mean, I don't know if it's that common, but I mean, you know, we all know it when we see it in our heads, but what's the type of nachos that you love that like maybe I didn't think about? Cause I'm looking for recipe ideas. Mm, mm, killer, man. I'm gonna see if I can dig down into that queso layer. Oh, baby. Okay, queso layer chip, dude. Queso layer, right? Right? Wow, you can't beat this. Queso layer, 100%, man. Cause by the time you clear the top off right and it's just chips, like you don't want just chips down there. You want something to dive into head first, man. Who cares if you hit your head, man? The brain damage will be worth it, I promise. So yeah, these nachos, super dope, man. Double seal of approval. I want you guys to try this out no matter what. And when I do these videos, my big thing, I like to add value, right? So like, if, even if you knew how to make nachos, you might've never thought of grabbing a rotisserie. You might've never thought of the queso layer. So I try to like teach you guys something in every video. So if you like that, smash that thumbs up button cause it helps me out more than you know. Helps the videos out more than you know. I'm gonna eat this a little bit more. And I'm gonna wrap up and let you guys know the macros to this bad boy. You might be better off not knowing, but we'll find out, man. I will see you guys at the next clip. And for the love of God, man, don't be jealous. Just don't be jealous. Bath your health. Make it yourself. Kind of run. Mm. Just wrapped up chowing on some nachos. I feel like a tranquilized bear. Mm. In other words, I need a nap, but I gotta see you fine ladies and gentlemen off. So, in that entire recipe, right? How many servings would we call that? Would we, like what, 16? If it's me and Ank, then it's, it's a two serving dish. But let's just say eight servings, right? So in each serving, you would have 24 grams of fat, 37 grams of protein, and 44 grams of carbs. That would add up to 540 calories. I would tell you what's in the entire thing, but you can multiply by eight and do the math if you want. <laughs> Not good, but at least we got protein here, right? Which is usually like, even if I'm gonna cheat, I still want protein. I don't really like to cheat on just carbs. I wanna make sure at the end of the day, my protein is up that way. Even if I'm overindulging, at least we're kind of putting it to some good use, right? Speaking of, am I looking any bigger? Boys gained about 10 pounds since the cut and I'm feeling, feeling big, feeling big. And pro tip with these nachos, you can make them on a dish, and really any baking thing you wanna use, you can make them on. The reason I use that white dish, one is super deep and two, a ceramic dish like that holds the heat really well so it keeps whatever you're making it hot for a long time so it doesn't go cold on you right away and you kind of keep going back to it so if you like that dish link in my description for the exact same one i use it's a little pricier than just a regular dish but man if you use it a lot it's worth every penny appreciate you guys for watching the video i really hope you enjoy it thank you for all the support on the channel lately it means the world to me seriously it really does we got christmas right around the corner so you're gonna have some family together some festivities maybe you're gonna have your lady over feed her some nachos man take her from a lady and turn her into a woman <laughs> I am out of here. I will see each and every one of you guys in the next video. See you guys. Whew. I feel like a tranked bear.